This is an Eddystone S680 slash 2. I've been uh, working on this after I've had this set for about a decade. I did some cosmetic renovations about a decade ago, um, plus a little bit of electronic work. But I finally taken it out of storage and decided to uh, do the electronic restoration. That involved changing uh, power supply filter capacitors, the new ones are down there, putting a new 5Z4G rectified tube in it, um, a new 7S7 uh, mixer tube, and replaced some of the other tubes as well with uh, ones that were uh, higher emission. I uh, replaced um, a few of the capacitors, uh, the small and the little Vicks were replaced, uh, 15 resistors, and um, I haven't realigned it yet, I'm uh, going to do that shortly. But it's working pretty well um, without the realignment. I did quite a bit of work on the alignment a decade ago, but with the new tubes in there and a decade having passed, it's about time it was checked again. Um, the dial actress is still pretty good, but um, the, the, uh, the alignment does need checking. Anyway, um, the, the case was powder coated a decade ago, as was the front panel. And the finger plate, you can see there, is actually paper. It's not, uh, not a real finger plate, it's actually a reproduction I made. Just, uh, just printing it out of a laser printer. Uh, the original finger plate was badly damaged. Otherwise, it's all original. Um, dates from mid-1949. It's actually tuned on 10 megahertz on uh, band 2 at the moment, on WWV. It's got a nice, nice S meter on it, so I'll just pull the light over. And... It's very strong. <laughs> Signal. Um, controls are fairly typical of a receiver of this era. It's got an RF gain control, a BFO, BFO on off, pitch. It's got a send receive switch used for the transmitter, five wave bands, main tuning. It's got a noise limiter, automatic volume control switch, five, I think it's five, all position. For position selectivity control, uh, audio, audio control, and it's got a crystal filter. It's out at the moment. Switch the uh, crystal filter in, you can hear the sharp tuning. Just uh, switch on to a different wave band, put it onto the broadcast band, which is part of by band 4. There's a lot of um, man-made interference at this location. The set's running on about 50 feet of wire outside, but it just picks up so much interference from the house.
see for myself and mine eyes shall behold and not another though my right picks up quite a few um broadcast stations on the shortwave bands And uh, back to WWV. So there you are. Eddystone 680 slash 2. Quite a rare receiver. Manufactured for a couple of years, uh, 1949 to 51. And it was superseded by the um, Eddystone 680X. Very, very similar electrically, but it had the classic um, slide rule dial that Eddystones are pretty famous for. But this one has got a really nice half moon dial. And the uh, tuning control is so smooth, it just really is beautiful.